Today, we are going to discuss the concept of race, its origins, and its effects on the population. The rise of agriculture in the first epidemiological transition led to the need for land ownership for farming. This greater need for resources pushed Europeans to start exploring the rest of the world, while at the same time exploiting local populations. Slavery is just one example of this exploitation and has often been justified by race. Now with the rise of industrialization and globalization, Many problems associated with race become structuralized. As race has been used to reach new heights in economic prosperity, inequality has been perpetuated and ingrained into society. Race in society attempts to subdivide humanity into different groups based on physical traits. While there's no biological basis for racism, physical characteristics like skin and hair color have often been used to classify people. Sometimes cited as being correlated with race, sickle cell is actually an adaptation formed against high prevalence of malaria. Another example of a gene mutation is found in the people of the Solomon Islands who have dark skin and blonde hair. The prevalence of racism in society has lasting effects on one's access to resources, one's standing in society, and becomes structuralized in forms of bias and stigma. Using the theory of embodiment, we can see how the negative effects of racism disproportionately affect different populations. The key to change is to educate the future generations and break down existing biases in society. using Powtoon.